Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be opening and reviewing for you Disney's Animators Collection Doll Pocahontas who looks absolutely stunning already before I've even taken her out of the box. So I'm going to show you guys the sides here and the back because I think there is so much detail on the box that looks amazing. Like we can see a sketch there of Pocahontas and Miko. And on the back, there is some information about our animator doll. So it says, inspired by Glenn Kane's character design from Disney's Pocahontas, this young interpretation recaptures the magic of the original character. She stands with dignity, determination, and her iconic windswept hair. That is very true. She does have really inspirational and beautiful hair. On this other side of the box, there is a beautiful sketch of Pocahontas and Flint together. So I think that is really beautiful and I cannot wait to get my doll out of the box. Here is young Pocahontas, who is a spirited Native American Disney princess who stands 16 inches tall. She has beautiful brown eyes and long flowing black hair. Pocahontas has a necklace that is made of ribbon that is actually represented from the one from the movie that was given to her by her mother. She is wearing a fringed faux suede dress with glittering details up at the neckline. If we turn Pocahontas around, we can see at the back there is some Velcro that will help us take off the dress. Oh, and we can see here, the dress is actually bled a little bit onto the plastic um, of the body. So that's not good. That's unfortunate. So other than that, I would say the doll was uh, pretty close to perfect. Okay, let's turn her around and take a look at her feet. Interesting fact, Pocahontas doesn't have any shoes on. <laughs> oh my goodness but it is representative of her appearance in the 1995 Disney movie. She has a little plush friend here named Miko who has really cute rosy cheeks. That was a nice little detail that they added. Pocahontas has movement at the head, at the shoulders and the hips. She doesn't have as much movement as maybe you would like for your doll to be in different positions, but this does allow her to stand very easily. I totally love this Disney animation collector's doll. She is super cute. I was disappointed though about the dress bleeding onto the plastic, which is supposed to represent her skin. So that was sad. But other than that, I was really happy with the doll and I think is a wonderful representation of young Pocahontas. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys for the next video.